Hello and welcome to Infinity. The idea of a vignette is to darken the edge of a picture and it somehow makes it better. The reason that a vignette works is that it's about bouncing the eye off. So, because the eye moves away from dark and towards light, so we make the outside darker. But there are other ways of bouncing the eye into the subject, which is kind of around here. And we can do that in ways that are taken from art. Artists use this method, so we're going to use this here as well. So first of all, let's do a vignette. Many ways to do this, including the adjustment, the filter. But we're going to do it here just to show some of the things we can do with curves. I'm going to darken the whole picture, but I don't want that darkness on the outside. So I want to bring back the picture and say, don't apply curves to the area in the middle. And just one of the ways to do this is take a paintbrush and paint in black on this. And this, you're pointing here, you can see it's sort of happening here. Let's use the right square bracket to make that a bit larger. Opacity is 100%, soft brush there. And so if I paint on here, I'm painting actually on the mask. So make sure I do this. I can do a rough kind of square around here. If I want to bring anything back, you can see there's the mask. I can alt click it to see it. But what I've done here is darkened the edges so I can turn this off and on. So off and on like that. So now that's got a vignette, it's brought the focus in more. It's not over darkened the edges because vignettes shouldn't really be completely obvious. And I can always adjust it again. So what I can do is do some other things now as well. And one of the other things that you can do with this, in which artists do, is to desaturate the edge. So I have not as bright colours there. So I can go to HSL to put this here. By the way, it's peering above here because I've got up here, I've got in the settings assistant, I've got the uh, for adjustments, add adjustment as new layer. I've got also add filter as new layer. That forces it to put things above. So anyway, I'm going to take this now. I'm going to desaturate this. If I turn it down, the whole thing goes black and white. But I just want to do it just a bit so it nudges it. But I'm thinking at the edge here. Now what if I want to take this vignette here and apply it so it actually they go together? And a very simple way to do this is to steal this mask. And the way to do that is I go to the channels, wherever the channels is there, it's either here, up here, or you go to window and to channels there. And so I go to the curves here, down in the channels tab where it says curves adjustment alpha, right click that and say create spare channel. And it's taken a copy of the mask down here. So now when I go up to the HSL here, if I right click on that spare channel and say load to HSL shift adjustment alpha, then it's applying it around the outside. And I can now turn this down to, so it's sort of like reasonable. And what I get to here, I can go quite a long way down here. I don't want to make it completely grey, but I can go quite a long way down here, looking at the edges of this. Let's move this out of the way. And it's not particularly noticeable, but it does kind of nudge your eye out of the way. But up here, it kind of looks rather, hmm, we don't really want it like that, that grey in the sky. So now I can paint on that mask again. I want to paint a bit of black up here to say, don't apply this HSL adjustment in this area. And so I'm going to get the brush again painting in black and I'm just going to paint that up there. You can be a bit more accurate with a smaller brush but that'll do. So now I've got myself another area here. Something else I can do is to do a blur and because I moves away from blur and towards sharpness. So what I can do here then is put in a blur. So I'm going to go to live filters and blur. And let's say I can use this channel again here let's to use this spare channel, the mask, right click there and say load to Gaussian blur alpha. 
No, when I adjust this, it doesn't appear here yet, it just appears later. And now if I turn this up, I click on Preserve Alpha, and I turn up the blur, and you can see the outside blurs. So I got myself a blur vignette. But again, I'll bring this down here, so this is kind of okay here. And is it affecting else? Because I can paint on that mask again if I wanted to take something else. But the sky doesn't matter here because you blur that and it's it's okay. Or maybe I will take that. So I'll, I'll go to this one here because it's, it's blurring that wire, which is a little bit, looks odd. And so I'll take the same mask as here. Go to the HSL shift adjustment bar for there. Create spare channel. So there's that, that adjust mask with that edge on it. Then I'm going to go up to Gaussian Blur here, right click on this spare channel and load to that one there. So you haven't got that funny little blur on the edge of that. So you can see you can actually put a number of things in here and now you're directing the eye a lot more into here. We can do the reverse effect as well. So I can have more of a focus in here. So I can use this for sharpening, for example. So I can make just this little area here sharper. So I'm going to go to filters I'll just go to unsharp mask and I'm going to turn this up radius here a bit to around about one ish and turn the factor up a bit don't want to overdo it but just but I want to focus this just in here so if I go to layer invert it effectively puts a black mask onto here and then when I paint on this, so this is taking it away, I'm going to paint in white. So I go to the paintbrush and white and come back in here. And I'm just going to paint this in here. So this is just the sharpening happening there. So you can see that that's appeared now. So the mask is there and it's just on that. Alt click that to see it. So that's where we are with that. So I brought this in. And anything else? Well, I could actually make that a little bit brighter again. So let's do one more step. And I'm going to put in a curves. And so I'm going to turn the curves up to make this a little bit brighter in here. And I want to constrain it just into that area there. So I want to keep it within the same area that the I had with this one here. So I'm going to go to this one. Go down to the Unsharp Mask Alpha, right click there and create spare channel. Disappeared down there a bit, so let's kind of like drag this up a bit so I can see it. And then go to the Curves Alpha, right click on that one, load to Curves Alpha adjustment. So that brightness is just appearing in there. I can readjust the curves again, or I can even change the opacity. So this is just bringing it up a little bit so it doesn't overdo it. So there you go, there you can see that effect. And if I double click on one of these, that props it down there so I can see the whole thing. So I can do before and after, before and after. And there you've got a compound vignette effect. And that's it, and thank you very much for watching.